All right, y'all. So today we're actually gonna cook. Um, oh, before I tell y'all what we're gonna cook, um, I got a little mini surprise when I came home from my show with balloons um, from a special someone uh, with the number 546, which was my competition number, as y'all already know. Um, and then I had congratu congratulations, on, congratulations on there. It's like if the person already knew I was going to win. But now nah, they said they um, did it because no matter what, whether I won or not, it was still a congratulations. So it says 546 and it says congratulations. It's actually supposed to be, hey, yo, where you going? Come back. Um, it's actually supposed to be like this. So yeah, that's that. But first I'm going to shower, wash my ass. I just so we showered, right? <laughs> just this, just proof, cause I don't want nobody to say. I don't know. He said he was gonna shower, but I don't know if he showered for sure. You know what I mean? So I did shower for sure. We gonna lotion up, set up the kitchen, and get shit going. Um, I will also be recording on Bigo, so if y'all hear like certain conversations i might just record the the food itself but if y'all hear certain conversations because i'm live on bigo you guys should download bigo um b-i-g-o it's an app um a live stream app so you can see me live stream directly and live so you don't always have to wait for the youtube videos and sometimes if i'm not recording it's just better for you to have you know content from me so yeah we're gonna get dressed now because Y'all ain't gotta see me naked now. We're gonna get dressed and we're gonna get shit started up. Alright, y'all? Oh, shit. White rags for the face. Ooh. Clean rags for the face. Ah. Yo, that morning face wash be the best. Alright. So I feel refreshed. I feel good, so we're gonna make some breakfast. So I'll probably just record that for y'all. We're gonna make some breakfast before we go to the gym. We're gonna I'm gonna make breakfast. I'm gonna take a like a probably an hour digest my food first, and then we're gonna hit the gym afterwards, alright? Alright y'all, so because I was on Beagle talking and talking and talking, I'm gonna um, just do a voiceover just so I could give you guys a rundown on um, my breakfast for the day and how I start up my day. Every morning, no matter what it is, I eat the same thing, to be honest. And I don't mind it. This is within con contest prep or without contest prep. Either way you see it, I eat the same breakfast, um, more or less. If I am in a rush, then I'll eat McDonald's. I know it's not a good thing, but I'll eat McDonald's. But my breakfast consists of eight eggs. Uh, six of those will be egg whites and then two regular eggs. And then I have my oatmeal as well, as I just showed in the pot. Um, lightly seasoned with just salt and pepper, and um, that's it, nothing else. Um, on other days, if I do feel like mixing it up, I'll add onions, tomatoes, green peppers to my omelet. But that's pretty much what my breakfast consists of. I'm gonna start making it for y'all. So I'm seasoning it with it with, um, and I think I added adobo in this too. So salt and pepper, salt and 
pink salt at that. Pink salt is great for um, inflammation and just reducing your high blood pressure as a, as a whole. So I recommend pink salt to use instead of regular salt. And then a little bit of adobo, not too much. And you'll be set with the seasoning for your breakfast. That's pretty much that. And then we'll get started cooking the breakfast. Now, you don't have to make it like me. You can start making it straight from your um, pan. Some people make it like that. They season and put the eggs straight in the pan first and then season as they go. I like to put it in a bowl first, season it, whisk it, and then put it in my pan. That's just me. But you can do it however you like. Uh, my oatmeal, I also make it with almond milk. So my preferred one is Almond Breeze Vanilla so that I don't have to add sugar. Um, if you feel the need to add sugar, go with honey. But I think that if you get almond milk that's a little bit flavored, you won't have to add as much sugar to your oatmeal. And make sure that your, your oatmeal has more water, um, more milk, sorry, than um, oatmeal, obviously, or it'll be too cunky. I use um, the old school oatmeal so the oats old-fashioned oatmeal quicker oats so it's not the quick one minute so it takes longer to cook and just for me I just like the consistency a little bit better than the um, quick minute one and that's just my, my preferred version so you can do that too so quicker oats um, old-fashioned cook it on medium heat or low heat for about five to ten minutes and you should be good to go you want to say I made you pregnant by all means do your big one but I don't think I'm the pappy. That's the that's the good thing about being a trans man too. <laughs> Can't nobody come to me out of nowhere and say I got them pregnant like that. <laughs> I gotta go through a process, shorty do up. I gotta really, really, really um plan to have a baby with you, shorty. We gotta plan this thing out, shorty. It don't just, <laughs> can't just make that up, man. Tap the screen, share the live, y'all. Send me a bean, too. Hit that purple box at the bottom. I can't be the pape. I ain't the pape. But yeah, um... A lot of places, a lot of people blame America, um, not America, yeah, a lot of people blame America for why they eat the food they eat, but y'all don't want to eat the good stuff they give y'all, y'all don't want to eat the healthy shit they give y'all. No cheese? Nah, brody, no cheese. I don't put no cheese in my eggs, and, I don't know why I started with this, when I eat my breakfast, well, it doesn't matter, but I could start with whether this or that but I always start with the eggs because for some odd reason in the last couple of years it's been very hard for me to to down my eggs so I eat what I can't digest I eat what's harder for me to digest let me put it that way first and then oatmeal is usually easier for me to to eat so I eat that last I can't eat my food together I never been able to like eating oatmeal or anything or pancakes or anything like that like even when I eat a burger and fries I can't eat it together it has to be one at a time okay if you need a morning hug send me some morning beans y'all be playing with me on here with the eggs or like bacon and sausage and shit like that I'm usually not a the only thing I usually put in my eggs with my eggs like I said is uh, is um um okay Kim now if I kick you out you're gonna be mad right but you know what I'm enjoying my breakfast so I am mad at y'all. I'm chilling. Who's in my queue? If you're in my queue, you already know what to do. Send me a treasure. I don't do the queues. I don't talk to the random people. 
All right, let me take you out of here, Sam. See, so simple. What up, Patch? So simple. Give me a headache. You get kicked out. You feel me? Can't say with me. Good morning. Oh yeah, and by the way, this was five egg whites, two regular eggs. So I guess you could say seven eggs. So five whites. Thank you, Patch. So five egg whites. Got eggs all over my lip. Five egg whites, two regular eggs. Now, your egg whites from your egg and the egg whites you get in the carton are different consistency, but it's still egg whites. Does egg whites taste different than the regular? What do you mean by the regular eggs with the egg? Alright, y'all. So this is what I got on. Um, sign light, nine two. You know, I mean, um, shorts, blue shorts. These are my feet. Feel me? Fresh, fresh, fresh. And then just a great oversized tee. Nothing too complicated. And then a white tank top under it. If I sweat or not. Um. Yeah. Good job. Good job. I do it. See, the thing is about me, I can fillet myself, so I'm gonna just tell them to take out the, the scales because I don't want to have to do it. So, instead of me telling them to clean it, I'm gonna show you guys how to clean it on the fish so that you guys can learn it as well. The fish market has like. I only got two fish because it's only me. <laughs> um, but I will be making um, a few for me and other people to try. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna, like I said, I'm only gonna have them take off the scales. They can leave everything else and then to cut it so that I can show you guys how to clean out my fish. You ready? You ready? This is where you can get most of the stuff. Um, so I'll have to throw it out. And, stuff like that. Um, and then I also need, so this is what we use to like, um, mash up everything that we need. No, I just want to just. Oh. I'm going go. No. Say, so, uh, say, so come here. It's a good iron dollar. Okay. Do you have one day, okay? No. Say, so come here. Two dollars, no? Okay. Do you have one day, okay? Okay. Because I'm going to come in and retard. So, I'm going to pass it to congeler tout de suite. Okay. Oh, we're going to leave the other one. No, no, I'm going to come in too. But as I'm going to congeler today, Donc ça fait 6 plus 8, 14 dollars. 14 dollars, ok. 
Merci beaucoup. Bonne nuit. Merci. So, they had what I, most of what I needed. Um, I'm gonna still have to go to another African market because it's kind of break outside today. I played myself. I ain't even gonna hold you. It's like six something. I got out the gym late, so most of the stuff that I wanted to get, I couldn't get on time. Um, but I know me. Do things. I'm an unethical kind of guy. I should have woke my ass up early in the morning, got this shit done. Hey, here, this bus trying to hit me. Um, but y'all know me. Y'all know me. Y'all know how I do. I don't be doing shit the proper way. So I'm gonna go to another spot. Honestly, I could go to a regular supermarket for the rest of the stuff that I need. I don't have to go to another African spot. Um, and I could honestly get most of the other stuff from one of these little supermarkets outside. If you're from New York or other states too, I don't know. But I think you could also get like these little vendors that sell fruits and stuff outside. But I'm already out here. Oh yeah, by the way, the place that you could get the Acheke from, you can't get it from every African market. The place you could get it from, hold on, let me see if I can zoom in. Um, there's another one in the Bronx. I'll probably put all the addresses of where you can get the specific HK from, but this is um hold on. Yeah. It's called Maliba Trading and it's on 116th Street, 118th Street and Adam Clayton. So we don't call it Adam Clayton, we just call it Lennox. Of course, my favorite part about New York is being able to find something to be open at any time, whenever time, like that you're outside. Like, it's about to be 8 o'clock, they're still selling their clothes, they're still selling vegetables, so I'm about to get me some veggies from here. Um, I can go to the supermarket, but the supermarket be expensive, I think there's a supermarket right here. I need. You know what? I'm gonna take my ass to the supermarket. Let me see if there's a supermarket open. Cause I want my shit fresh too. Like I don't like unfresh shit. And I'm sniffling and shit. Oh. Alright, yeah. So as I said before, why is it not zoomed in? Zoom in to me, buddy. <laughs> Zoom in to me, buddy. Right, I kinda wanna leave. I'm gonna leave this shit right here. Cause this shit heavier than mother. Um I'm gonna now I'm at the regular supermarket, so like I told y'all before. Um, you guys can get most of your stuff from a regular supermarket. You do not have to always go to an African market unless you're getting specific African market stuff. So, but this one, this shit is so expensive. I can't get this shit separate. It's probably more expensive separate, to be honest. Let me see. Because I ain't going to hold you. $8 for some bell peppers. It goes crazy. Like, since when? Yo, look at the price of this, y'all. Eight dollars. And I really don't need all of this. So what I'm gonna do, um, we're gonna get one cucumber. Um, I don't need the biggest cucumber paws. Cause you know, these things don't last long. So I only need one cucumber. I'm gonna get all right, let's see. So we're gonna get one cucumber. Um, I might as well just get this because they're $2.49 a pound. 
So two fifty a pound. So I might just get this. Um, and then we need tomatoes. So I'm gonna get tomatoes. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, YouTube? First name JC on, last name Ditto. JC on Ditto, and I'm back at it again with another video. Don't mind this. It's just out of the way. Um, so, we're back for another. Welcome to another cooking video with JC on. Um, I'm gonna be taking you guys today. We're going to Africa. Um, so, this is a series of African cooking dishes. Today, we're going to the Ivory Coast. Where I'm from, Cote d'Ivoire, in the proper way you would say it, would be Cote d'Ivoire. Um, achike poisson à loco. So basically, tilapia fish with couscous, um, cassava couscous and plantain with a side of boiled eggs because there's no à loco or poisson with a side of, without the boiled eggs. Um, you don't have to put the boiled eggs. I will give you guys all the, the recipe in the comments in the description below. I will give you guys what to buy, where to buy it. Um, some of it will be in the clips, as you will see, or you have, of, or you have already seen in the comments. Um, and yeah, 
I'm gonna try to make this as official as possible. I am gonna keep the do rag on. I feel like it adds a little pizzazz to my cooking show. Um, but yeah, if you do make aprons or you do make clothes or whatever the case may be, please make me a JC on Ditto apron that will have, you know, JC on Chef Ditto. I would love it, I would appreciate it. And if you do do a Chef Ditto, um, it doesn't have to have my face necessarily, but I would love it to have um, a hat with my country's flag, which is orange, white, and green. The opposite of Ireland, just like that. Um, I would love it. But yes, I wanted to take this a little bit more seriously and take it, you know, kick it up a notch because content creating is back. Like, I'm back. Like, you know, no more games, no more playing, none of that. So I'm going to show you guys the ingredients and then I'm going to show you guys where you can get most of these ingredients. Most of them, you can get them at your local supermarket, but some of them you have to whether order it online or you can get it at your local international supermarket or your African market. If you're in New York, I will drop all the details of where you could get it in New York. And yeah, let's get it going. All right, yeah. So as your ingredient, you have your ingredients. You have um, the tilapia, of course. You can do any fish you would like. You can do um, red snapper, uh, catfish. It doesn't even matter. Um, scotch peppers, tomatoes, bell peppers, whatever color. Um, green, red, and yellow are my preferred um, two onions, you could do three or one big one, it's up to you. Flour, plantains, acheke. You could get the, the big block or you can get the box. Big bottle of oil, adobo, salt and pepper, um, pink salt, paprika, and cucumber, all right? And then Maggi cube and then obviously your eggs if you wanna add eggs. So that, those are your ingredients right there. All right, so as I said, the fish was already cleaned, so now, Put my big boy knife. I'm up. <laughs> I'm telling you. I love it. I love it. I love it. We got 400 people in here. So, like I was saying, this is the big piece of uh, achike. So, this is the big ball. This ball comes frozen all the time. So, because it comes frozen, you will have to wait a couple of days to unfreeze it before you eat it. Use the box if you want to just make it today. So, I'm going to put this away because I'm not going to make this today. So I'm gonna put this inside of the fridge so it could thaw out. So, but this is only like five bucks and it will last you, like you could cook for like a whole family for a very long time. So always go with this instead of the box, okay? Just to let y'all know. So like I said, I'm gonna keep this one whole and then we're gonna cut the other ones in pieces. So what I always usually do is cut the head first. So we're gonna cut the head. And if you know tilapia, tilapia has a lot of bones. So get yourself a good knife. Thank you, thank you. And then what I usually do is I'll cut the here, another one, and then the end because these come really big. If they were smaller, I would have cut them in another half here. So I'm gonna cut them in even smaller pieces because the person I'm making it for has kids. But yeah, like I said, the person that I'm also giving some of this to is my old coworker and she um she has kids and she always shares you know her meals with me when she cooks something she shares it with me so these are so look you got so if you have kids you have friends you got whatever i just made okra soup love this content thank you black so we got four pieces of fish all right so we're gonna put these to the side now also for your fish if you really want to get the seasoning to go everywhere just make a, a, a slight slit in your fish so a small slit just like so so you can put your seasoning in between okay and if I show the camera on the other side just know it's because of YouTube so put a slight slit in your in your fish the middle and the tail part okay then we're gonna put these to the side for now yes I got my mag all right guys so now we're gonna take care of the fish we're gonna put two slits like we did on the other side of the other fish. Both sides, one slit, another slit, same thing on the other side with no problem so that your seasoning can seep through the inside of the fish as well. On the side, you're gonna have your Maggi cube, your salt, and you can use whatever seasoning is good for you. You can use adobo. Um, just try not to over season because fish is a del delicate um, meat. So just try not to over season and we're going to use that to, as you can see, I put a little bit too much salt so I'll remove some of it 
and then I added some adobo to it as well and mix it. Do not add any oil, just keep it dry because fish does not need to have any extra oil and because you'll be frying it, you do not need extra oil to marinate the way you would meat. Also add pepper, so you have salt, pepper, mango cube and adobo. You mix all that together, a little bit of paprika on top of it and you're good to go to start seasoning your fish all together. All right, so now we're gonna take that seasoning, as I said, dry, and we're gonna season it all over the fish. You're gonna get in the creases, the back, the front, the inside of the actual fish itself, like where you cut your slits, everything. Make sure the entire fish is covered, the head, the where you have your gills, open up the fish with the inside of the body make sure you have gloves on so that your hands don't smell like adobo and all that other stuff you don't have to if you don't want to same thing with the smaller pieces of fish we're going to do the same exact thing make sure it's seasoned in and out through and over left and right next corner every corner cover your entire fish all right you guys then we will go to the next part the card so yeah i'm back y'all sorry all out <clears throat> My bad, my bad. That was my fault. All right, so now we're gonna cut up onions. So you cut your onions in half and you take two halves. So, move this back a bit. The first half, it doesn't matter how you cut it, as um, long as it's cut, because we're gonna blend it anyways. The second one, yes, it does matter. So this is gonna be the one where we make the the, um, the dipping sauce for the uh, the plantains and stuff like that, and your eggs and whatever. I mean, you could dip, you could use a dipping sauce for whatever you want. It's up to you. Um, if you want, you could cut it up. If you don't want to, you don't have to. But and if you don't want your food to be spicy, you don't have to use the the scotch peppers. But I like my dipping sauce to be spicy, so I put two. You could put the red ones, you could put the yellow ones, you could do whatever you want. Um, we're also gonna use tomato tomato paste for this um, dipping sauce. Okay. I'm gonna wash these bell peppers. We're gonna use these bell peppers as well. Bean pie, welcome back. Obviously, you wanna cut out the miscellaneous <laughs> stuff in the middle of your bell pepper. Get that out. You don't need that. This we're gonna all blend together to make into a, a paste, okay? That we're gonna actually put on low heat. And then I'm gonna do some with a little bit of the red pepper, the red bell pepper, just a little bit of it. The green bell pepper we're gonna use for our, uh, like our salad for the, for the couscous. You could call it a salad. I don't know what you will call it. If you enjoy red, on red onions, you can do red onions as well. So these are everything that we just cut. You put them in there. Um, close it up and just blend it. Okay. Hey, am I bugging? Oh, see, it won't start if it's not closed properly. That's them safety measures. All right, you guys, now that our mixture is done blending, we're gonna pour it, put it in a little bowl or cup, whatever you wanna put it in, put it to the side for the moment. And then the next thing we're gonna try to do, or when I cook, I like to clean and rinse out my stuff. So y'all will see me wash and stuff as I go very often, oftentimes, just so that I have things clean, just in case I do need to grab them again. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is take the onion that we had before the other half and cut it into pieces to put inside of our actual blend that we just blended. But you need one blended, one raw, which is what I explained before, just so you can have a little bit of pieces of onion 
in your dipping sauce while you're eating it. Now, if you're not like me and you don't want to see the onion or have any pieces of onion, you will blend it just to make sure as is, and that's it. You do not have to do another piece of onion. You just leave it as is. All right, you guys. So the next part now is our small little cucumber tomato salad that I was talking about earlier. You're going to grab your second onion and use that to start cutting for that little small salad as you'll see i will be dicing these up a little differently from our first onion that we did because the way you're going to eat and have your cucumber salad needs to be in dices so everything for this next part will be cut in dices and not in slices okay so just make sure that they're cut in dices you've cut all your veggies cucumbers tomatoes onion and as well as the green peppers you're gonna add oil and you're also gonna add vinegar and then you're gonna add your choice of seasoning so I personally go with the Maggie cube I prefer that but you can add salt you can also add pepper and that will be your cucumber salad for the educate itself Okay. now we move on to now the frying of the actual fish you're gonna put a good amount of oil you're not deep frying it you're just frying your fish so get a pan that's a little high up now if you get if you have a smaller pan it's also fine it's just that you have to flip on both sides so just put the oil up until a certain amount do not go above the the uh, top of the pan because you are going to add the fish to it we're also going to start making our dipping sauce for the fish as well as the uh, aloco which is the plantain so you have the mixture that we made we're going to pour that into a pan no oil just the actual sauce dipping sauce itself that's it nothing else pour that in the in the pan and then you're good to go for the next step Please make sure that when you add the sauce to the pan that your heat is on medium or even low. Medium is preferred. Do not put it on high because you want to make sure it gets cooked. It's onions in there. There's still tomatoes. There's still a lot of things. You want it to reduce. You do not want it to 
just cook very fast. Now to that same pan with the sauce inside, you're gonna add one tablespoon of tomato paste. I guess a tablespoon and a quarter of tomato paste. I don't measure my stuff, so please bear with me. And then you're just gonna move on to the next. Make sure to turn your handle so you don't burn your hand, or burn yourself, or burn your body. I was actually... Now we're just gonna leave the oil to do its thing. Why am I dancing? We're gonna leave the oil to actually get it hot. You want it as hot as possible so that your fish can fry and you do not have to worry about having lukewarm oil. Keep stirring that sauce. Make sure it doesn't stick to the pan. Keep watching it, watch it reduce and keep stirring. Now the next thing we're gonna do is take care of now the flour part for our fish. On a small plate or bag, I prefer a plate so I don't have to have my fish going all over the place. I just want a perfect amount because it's not like chicken where you could just put it in a bag. So we're gonna tap the fish on each and cover every side to make sure that there's flour all over. Do not double dip, just dip it once. You don't want too much flour over your fish. Next thing on the list are the eggs. Eggs will go in the pot, add water to a certain amount. And everyone should know how to boil eggs by now. But you add your water, you put a little bit of salt into your, into your eggs. Let it boil until it's ready. So now we have our fish, our sauce, and our eggs. Remember, we have not gotten to the plantain yet. Those are the last things you wanna make, all right? I'm getting excited because I'm about hungry as hell. Now, once you've achieved this consistency on your sauce, the smoke is going all up in the air. You're gonna put it back on the stove. I'm gonna show you guys. You put it back on the stove. Make sure that you're still keeping the same amount of heat, meaning your fire level is still the same at medium heat. Do not change it. Now, as I stated before, just make sure to always keep stirring this dish. It's very important that the sauce is constantly stirred. Sorry for calling it a dish. We're gonna add the oil to it. Make sure that it's not like a overpowering amount of oil, just a tad bit so that it can keep reducing and cooking down. You're gonna next add your raw onions that we cut earlier in, di in different sizes. Reason why you add your raw onions after is so you can keep the onion texture afterwards. If you cook it in the beginning, it will reduce too much and you won't really get to see the onion. I had a couple of YouTube channels. So make sure to flip your fish around so it looks, you know, it cooks evenly on each side. Um, if you have a, a half, my bad y'all, I'm holding the camera on the other hand. Like, just like so. And then like I said before, we're gonna leave this in here. We're gonna add some um, water to this to let it simmer down even more with the oil in there at the same time. And then we're also gonna add seasoning before we add the oil. You want this nice color right here. Oh, I also added uh, water to this uh, mixture here with um, raw onions. Um, I don't use Old Bay seasoning because, okay, let me tell you why. When you use Old Bay and things like that, it tends to t kind of change the taste of your of your fi of your your fish meaning that what happens is you end up making it taste like seafood versus what it's supposed to taste like i don't know how to explain it let me try to like explain this put this down y'all pissing me youtube y'all lucky i fuck with y'all because this this is why i stopped youtube before like i'm hungry i don't have time to be playing with cameras right now no cap but i fuck with y'all 
I'm 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 gonna do it. Um. Now, what was I saying? So, you see your fish? Let me show you. That. Let me show you guys on the other side. If my phone overheats again, y'all don't leave. No drama. Yes, I do. So this is how your fish will look. Nice and golden. Okay. No burn. And then, like I said, don't put too much flour because what you're gonna end up doing is overpowering it. This is not popcorn shrimp. This is not fried chicken. So it's a delicate, exactly. Heavy, heavy seasoning and heavy flour is not needed for fish. It's a, it's a delicate meat or whatever you wanna call it. It's delicate. <laughs> so isn't there like a red ball in the eye? No. What I'm gonna do is the big dog. I'm gonna leave it whole. Just for aesthetics, I don't think you should put water. I think it's going to mess up your phone. No, not put water, but ice, basically. Ah, uh, thank you. Thank you, thank you for the compliment. Appreciate it. So we're going to leave this fish whole, just for aesthetic reasons. Like I said, make sure. Season it all the way. Season it all the way. Nah, put the, um, <laughs> make sure it has... Like this, bang, bang. Like I said, don't overdo it, okay? Don't put cornmeal, cornstarch, this, this, this. Don't worry about that. Oh, and then you just drop it in there. So make sure you wait until they get golden like this, and then you can pop them out. And then put them on a, on a plate with paper towel. So like I said, we waited 30 seconds yeah, listen, I'm going to get the feedback from my coworker. I'm going to tell her to send me a video. So, we waited our 30 seconds. So, now we're going to pop them out and put them right on that tray that we had earlier. So, that's out the way. Fire is off. So, this in my country is called aloko. Plantains is called aloko. So if you say aloko to anyone, they know you're from Ivory Coast. Other places call it plantain, we call it aloko. I'll make it to you too. We're gonna take the paste. So I've taken the eggs off and the um, the fish. I should have did the eggs last because I'm gonna add the um, I'm gonna add the stuff first. So make sure when you take the achike out the box, it's gonna come out like this. Boom, 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 boom. Your achike to water ratio needs to be the same. So, if I put it up to the first line in the first, in the red cup, or like, matter of fact, I'm gonna say half. So that line in the middle, I'm gonna make sure that the water is this, at the same line when I pour it in, in my container. That way when I put it in the microwave, it comes out being the same. Now, the consistency of it right now looks like rice, or like a small little, like a powder. Okay, when you put it in there and you add it, it's gonna look like Yossi. It's gonna come up and rise up like rice. Other rice countries rice. who don't know nothing about Ivory Coast would think that this is gari. Gari is like a powder dish that you eat kind of like grits. You add water to it and you eat it like that. It's called gari. You could Google it, um, but this is the real cassava. So you cut the cassava, you boil it, you ferment it. Then three days later, you mix it with real cassava you grate the cassava and then you put it together and it will, it will be in this consistency. Once you add water, I will show you guys one day how to make this from scratch, from actual cassava. I know how to make it, we make it in my village back home. So I will make this for you, but again, it's literally like powder, okay? All right, so as you can see, oh shit, this shit be hot as a motherfucker. This is what it comes out looking like. So this is your acheke. Y'all remember what it looked like before, right? First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna put the paste on the side. Just like this. Then we're gonna take the acheke itself. It's gonna go right in the middle. And then we're gonna take our boiled eggs. 
glad there's no drama here, of course. No drama. And there you have it, guys. We are done with the meal. You have your achike, your new uh, um, plantain, your tyler sauce, and then your cucumber salad with all the goodies in there. And now we get to eating. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> you have a sleepover on Friday? Oh.